For more information on tutoring, personalized video solutions, or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, check out MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. Okay, let's consider the following reaction here from gluconeogenesis, in which we're converting pyruvate here into oxaloacetate. And in this reaction, you can see that in the difference in structure, uh, basically pyruvate um, had a carboxyl group added to it to get this oxaloacetate. And that carboxyl group came from carbon dioxide, and this reaction requires ATP, and it's catalyzed by pyruvate carboxylase. So you might recognize this reaction as a carboxylation reaction because we're adding a carboxyl group. And it is. More generally, though, it's a reaction that involves a one carbon transfer. In this case, the one carbon is on carbon dioxide, which is the most oxidized that one carbon can be, a one carbon group can be. So what? Who cares, right? Why am I saying this? Well, one carbon transfer reactions are important in metabolism, as we see here, but as well as in uh, amino acid metabolism and nucleotide metabolism. So it's important to kind of understand what's going on with one, one carbon transfers. Okay. Now, when it comes to one carbon transfer reactions, there are three important cofactors for those one carbon transfers. And these different cofactors differ based on the oxidation state of the one carbon group being transferred. The first um, cofactor for one carbon transfers that we'll talk about is biotin. Biotin specifically transfers carboxyl groups as carbon dioxides, or you might see them as uh, bicarbonate. And so, um, Biotin is important in carboxylation reactions, as we saw in this example up here with pyruvate being converted to oxaloacetate. And in fact, I didn't show it, but there it is right there. Biotin is important as a cofactor in this reaction. And so biotin is, in, is important because it transfers the most oxidized one carbon unit, or the least reduced, depending on how you look at it, right? That carbon dioxide, that carbon has four bonds to oxygen if you draw out carbon dioxide's Lewis structure looks like that, right? So four bonds to oxygen. That's as oxidized as a one carbon group can be. So biotin is important in um, carboxylation reactions or transferring one carbon groups in their most oxidized form. Another important cofactor is tetrahydrofolate or THF, otherwise known as tetrahydrofolic acid. This guy transfers a variety of one carbon groups that are often, most of them are intermediately oxidized intermediately oxidized or intermediately reduced. Again, depending on how you look at it. It can transfer a methylene group, which looks like that. Transfer a formal group, which looks like that. Form amino groups, methenyl groups, and even methyl groups, which are actually pretty reduced. Okay. Now, the last um, cofactor is s adenosyl methionine or SAM. Now SAM transfers methyl groups, which are, of course are just like this, CH3s. And that is the least oxidized, most reduced a one carbon group can be. And so SAM is important specifically in methylation reactions. Okay. But you'll also notice here that tetrahydrofolate transfers methyl groups. What's the deal with that? Well, that's something we'll get into in the, the specific videos on each of these three cofactors. Okay. Anyway, I hope that video was helpful in introducing one carbon transfers. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you and happy studying.